coming here. Great to have you here. So, um, first of all, tell us about this work that you've been doing uh, that led to this book. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's two and a half years after the Universal Exposition that we are working on. Uh, this is where all the chefs come together. Yeah, all the chefs come together at the Universal Exposition. To, in 2015 was in Milan, and, what, and the theme was uh, Feed the Planet. And, uh, you know, the numbers are numbers. 860 million people, they don't have anything to eat. And uh, 1.3 billion tons of food are wasted every year. 33% of the world production is wasted. You so, opened the soup kitchen in we which... Opened, uh, yeah. We opened a soup kitchen in Milan, the first, uh, like, but a soup kitchen, beautiful soup kitchen. I bet, yeah. Because Your soup I, kitchen is probably yeah, better than our no, restaurants here. I, yeah. You know, it's a, <laughs> we, we, we believe in beauty. Yes. And uh, we involve an architect, designer, artist, uh, because I think everyone deserves a beauty. Sure. And uh, one of the goals was to rebuild the dignity of the people, serving them. Just well, what a great thing to do. And I know proceeds from this <laughs> book are going to open more soup kitchens all around the world, including here in the United yeah. States. Yeah, yeah. the more so. Yeah. So, but, uh, we're going to open Paris uh, at the end of March. Paris at the end of March. Yes, and Naples in April. Wow. That's, I, I mean, I would go to all of those places. Uh, I'm going to do a homeless tour of Europe. Now, you, um, <laughs> speaking of beauty, you were up in our writer's kitchen this afternoon, and you, yeah. we asked you to it go It was a nightmare. In fact, there is our writer's kitchen. No, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's a, do you really? Look at that, look at that. What's... I have to have three pins of, like, Ice cream, because there was enough <laughs> all left like that. Do you have Honey Nut Cheerios in Italy, or is that an American thing exclusively? Uh, it's an American thing. So the idea but, uh, was... you know, my, 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 my child loves that. You would I grab got, stuff. I got some... Uh, some... Uh, some, uh, uh, some alcohol rum. there, yeah. yeah. So you, got, you grabbed a bunch of stuff, and we asked you to make a three-course meal out yeah. of just the junk that you found yep. in our writer's yeah. kitchen. Yeah. And so show us what you've made, and this you is know, a great example yeah. for people. I got, I got like, some... Uh, uh, you know, bagels. Bagels, yeah. I, I just cut it in cubes and toast them. Okay. You know, I had some tomato. Uh huh. Had some uh, cilantro. Uh, how, how, they had cilantro. Yeah, because in, there? I, I, in my idea, yes, in the, in the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why either. You know, they, I had like some avocado. Is that from you, Guillermo? Yeah, I uh, put it right I, there. Yeah, okay. I think so. I think so. <laughs> it's gonna taste it. So they have because some... we're gonna make panzanella Mexican style. Mexican him. style panzanella. That became. Uh, Dedicate to Guillermo, eh? You want to come over here? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, listen, if we're going to make a Mexican panzanella, yeah. we got to have Guillermo here. He's, you know, he's known as the Mexican panzanella. It's very it's important. His Use his, your hands. <laughs> and you washed your hands before yep. this? Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's the best tool. How important is your it to hands. wash your hands? It's very important. Yeah. Because every time you touch something, yeah. you know, you, you, these, uh, these things is going to transfer to the next uh, course. Right, so. exactly. Oh, I see, I yeah. see. So you're talking about just strictly from a flavor standpoint, yep. it's important to... <laughs> gotcha. And if you were to sneeze in that, would you throw it out or would you serve it anyway? I'll, I'll throw it out. You throw it out, mm -hmm. huh? Well, things really are different there <laughs> in Italy, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Very different. Mm -hmm. Guillermo, the idea is he took the stuff that was sitting in that disgusting room oh, and he makes it into beautiful food. Next Thank time, you come very to much. my In the office. meantime, I put the pasta on. Yeah, right? will you? You mind putting I... the pasta on? All right, Guillermo, get everything in the thing. I know this is going to be good. Interesting, good. the bagels all cut up like this. Mm. Wow, this is delicious. Delicious. Oh, mm, really you have yeah. a good taste. Come mm. on. You make garbage taste so <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna keep eating while you cook over there. Guillermo, finish the show. All right. So, what do we have here next? Good. Next is gonna, next is gonna be pasta. Okay. Okay. Then what, look at this pasta. Pasta mm -hmm. is like, is a mix of everything. Oh, I see. You know? Yeah, it's broken pasta. It's broken pasta. So you don't have to throw broken pasta out. Yep. You know, and uh, all, and the pesto. We're gonna mm -hmm. make the pesto. What did you and, make that out of? Yeah, uh, basil. But uh, uh -huh. we didn't have enough basil, so we put. Some thyme, we put some uh, mint, uh, Parmigiano Reggiano, extra virgin olive oil. Really? And uh, we didn't have any pine nuts, so uh -huh. we use uh, breadcrumbs. Oh, okay. okay. All in right. the pesto. All right. All right. Nice. So a pesto, you could put anything you want in there, right? Uh, it depends. Oh. It's your palate. Okay. It's, your palate is telling you what to put. Okay. Okay? You're my so little you palate. Couldn't, you, right. couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't, 
You couldn't put any rosemary or sage because they are too aggra aggressive. I see, okay. But, uh, what if I mean, my palate wants some rosemary instead? Uh, your palate is wrong. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> ah. My palate is wrong. Yes. Oh, this looks like it's going to be good. Wow, ah, it, how beautiful. I can't yeah, believe you this. made this. Out of... Smell it, smell yeah. it. Mmm, it does smell great. Wow, yeah. so, it smells so fresh. And the fresh. The mint. The yeah. Mint. And you're gonna put some Parmesan cheese in there? Yep. That Parmesan cheese can't still be good. There's no way. <laughs> no, that Parmesan cheese is mine. Oh, that's your... Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank God, thank God. We do not eat Parmesan from the nope. writer's office. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. It's... Okay, so the pasta is ready. Look at this. Yeah, it is beautiful, yeah. Okay, and nice. And look at what are, we, what are we gonna do. What are we Instead gonna do? Instead of putting Parmesan or anything, I'm gonna put toasted popcorn. Really? Wow. Yeah. You, so okay. once you cook the popcorn, you then toasted it? Yep. Wow. Look at that. Is that legal? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm Here go we go. Ahead and try it. I'll try it too. So oh, Italian. Mm. So Italian. Yeah. That this was... is like uh, what Italians yeah. eat at the movies. Fiat yeah. pasta. This is good. Oh, oh my God. That's ridiculously good. This is very good. It doesn't need the popcorn, and, uh, but it's you delicious. You feel how light it is? Yeah. The and pasta is great. This is, a, this is great. a recipe that is in the book because we had to confront these kind of problems every day, you know? Wow. When That's you are in a really soup kitchen good. like that, you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what, what you have. So you have to confront uh, your creativity, use your creativity. You to... hear that, Guillermo? Mm -hmm. You gotta confront that The bananas. Bananas, bananas. Black, bananas. black bananas. Black bananas. You combine those with what? So what we did here is like we, we create a sauce uh -huh. that is like a dulce de leche yes. with uh, almond uh, milk. Oh, oh gross. And uh, we, yeah. use, uh, we, use, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> we use some uh, ice cream. Lemon, oh, this some is lemon. ice cream. OK, yeah. You know, we toast the banana with yeah. sugar. We caramelize sugar. See that? He toasted the you banana. Know? This is exactly. Wow, you just sliced that banana right down yep. the middle there, huh? Yep. And that looks, and that does look good. And I love wow. bananas. I think I may have been a monkey at some time in my past <laughs> life. Ah. Yeah. And, you know. You and know. now these are Honey Nut Cheerios yep. with Valentine's Day candy chocolate on them. Yep. Russell Stover's. Wow. And here. And you really, wow. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? You want to come to my house? <laughs> Great question. Cook for my wife. Gonna by the house. Gonna cook. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she gets happy, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe she gets happy. Yeah. We can and bring we, the and, uh, You know, the leftover from the ice the cream. The leftover ice cream. Yeah, but yeah. The, the leftover we use just the, the, um, the almond ice cream. So. Okay. All so right. It's gonna be. Wow, you're not kidding around here. Oh, wow, that is. Ah! We have to go inside. Oh, inside. Yeah, Guillermo, go eat the inside. Yeah, yeah, scoop it, scoop it, banana, Guillermo. Banana, banana. You tell me how you like curious. it, you little monkey. <laughs> All right. What do you think? It looks good to me. It's well, great. This Very book good. is called Bread is Gold, Extraordinary Meals with Ordinary Ingredients. It's available now. It all goes to charity to open soup kitchens all over the world. Thanks to Chef Massimo Batura. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Oh, oh, oh.